With the release of One UI 8, it actually broke how we change fonts on Samsung devices. So let's fix it. Okay, so starting off, we're going to need two apps. The first one you can find on the Play Store. It's called Shizuku. I believe that's how it's pronounced. We're just going to install it here. And of course, I'll have links to all of this in the description down there. So make sure you go check out all of those links. And the second one we're going to be installing is MT Manager. Now, this one is not on the Play Store, but I did find a link which I'll also be leaving behind. And it's translated thanks to Galaxy AI right there and we're just going to download the official version right here and when the download finishes we just tap on open file right here and if you've not enabled uh, your browser to be able to install files you need to click on uh, the prompt it's going to give you otherwise make sure you tap on install anyway and it will give you an unsafe app blocked uh, message here so we just tap on more details and we tap on install anyway and this one it will ask you for your uh, pin or your uh, fingerprint I'm going to use my pin and just like that it's going to install MT manager and you can tap on done. Now let's go back to the home screen. Now one thing that you will need here is the font file that you are going to be installing. Now for me I've downloaded this SF Pro display from uh, fontsfree.net so I will leave that website below or you can get your font from anywhere you're going to be uh, getting your font but you will need to have that font downloaded because we'll be coming back to this later. Okay so next we will need to open Shizuku which we downloaded earlier and first we're going to tap on pay in here and when we tap on pairing it, it will ask for notification options so we're just going to tap on the notification options there and enable it so let's tap on developer options and we need to enable developer options first now if you've not enabled developer options here just like I have let's quickly enable that so open your settings app and when you open your settings app go to about phone and then go to software information now here tap on your build number until uh, it shows you this uh, prompt that you should enter your pin now you just tap on it I think 10 or 12 times but it doesn't really matter and then after you enter your pin it will ask you if you want to allow development settings we're going to select OK and now in your main screen right there you should find the developer options which has been enabled so now that developer option has been enabled we need to scroll down to our debugging section right here and we'll see wireless debugging we need to enable that then tap on the wireless debugging section it Itself. This one can be a bit tricky. So um, if you don't get it, just rewatch this section again. You tap on pair device with pairing code. And when you see that code 127371, you see it actually gives a notification at the top there, which is saying that pairing device has been found. It now asks for the pairing code. Now I already forgot the code 127371. So I can say it can be quite tricky. 127371. So 127. 371 and then I tap on send and as you can see there pairing successful it has said it so you see that and now we have Shizuku in the uh, menu there in the wireless debug settings there so that is all you need here and again it can be tricky so just give yourself a little bit of space even for me who is an experienced person at this it is tricky for me so just be patient in this section now after we've enabled the wireless debugging and made sure that uh, Shizuku is part of our pair devices we want to go back back to Shizuku there and since we're already here in Shizuku we can just tap on start here and as you can see it will give this shell and it will ask if you want to allow MT manager to access Shizuku I will to select allow all the time right here and just like that we have enabled Shizuku here which is now running a DB process now in the next step we actually need to go to the store but I would not suggest you go to the Galaxy store directly instead I suggest you go into your settings and you go into your display and under display you go into your font size and style that I have here and here you want to tap on your font style and then under font style you want to tap on download fonts which will any Way take you into the Galaxy Store and what I want you to tap on is top free at the top here which just makes it a whole lot easier to be able to see the fonts that are free and if you're going to be using multiple fonts these are the four base fonts that we'll be using to be able to enable you to have all of these custom fonts now we've got the cool jazz rosemary choco chuki and a Samsung Sans now for some reason Samsung Sans is just the one that feels the most at home so we're just going to install your font of choice for me it's Samsung Sans 
sense but one very important thing here is do not apply it so just install it and then we are done here with the galaxy store now going back home here we're going to now finally open mt manager that we installed uh, previously now to give all of this in chinese and of course we've got uh galaxy ai here where you can just tap and hold a use circle to search to translate all of the terms and service there so if you want to read that that's one way to do that in case you didn't know so we're going to tap on read and agree and now you have these two tabs on the side right here so it's going to bring this pop-up you don't really need anything i'm just going to tap out of it and you have these two tabs of course on the z fold it's on two sides it's much bigger but on a smaller phone it's just going to be much smaller but you will have these two tabs here now this is where we really really get to do this now the first step is you will press on this toast menu at the top left and then we tap on extract apk now here it will bring a list of all of your apps on the phone what we want to do is tap on samsung sans and then you'll see samsung sans which is the font we just installed from the galaxy store you now want to tap on extract apk right here and just like that it will extract the apk into this folder and in case you mistakenly close it or, or before you close it you can just tap on locate and it will actually take you into that folder where it uh, opened the font but in case you mistakenly closed it and you don't know how to find it that's easy to in your root folder which is where you are when you are you know open up your phone zero right there mt2 uh, apks and that's your samsung sans right there so it's already right here and uh, this is where we now need to uh, enter into this font file to be able to make the changes that i required so we're going to tap on it right there and it will now give you an option here here you're going to tap on view and now it has opened that apk basically the font file it has opened it up and you now see all of the internal uh, files that are in this font file next we're going to tap on assets right here and under assets we're going to tap on fonts and now you can actually see when you change samsung fonts this is the actual font that you're changing right here so that is uh what we're going to be changing and replacing here so that now whatever font we want is the font we're going to put here now a critical thing here to do because this is expecting a samsung sans.ttf file we're going to tap and long press on the file there and we're going to tap on rename now one thing i like to do is just select so double tap there and just uh, select the entire font and i want to copy it because this will be very important so after we've copied it we can now delete this file so we're going to long tap on the samsung sans.ttf and we're going to tap on delete and we're just going to tap on ok now it will ask you if you want to allow mt manager to allow uh, notifications or we are going to tap on allow there now it has deleted the font on the left now remember that part where i said you should download the font you want to use this is where it is now important because now on the right you can see we have a tab of all of your files on your phone now i know that i downloaded my font into download and quick share and the font that i shared with you earlier the fonts free is this one right here so wherever it is you you downloaded your font probably it will be in your download folder this is where you're going to find it now this step we're going to tap and hold on the font file here and you see this add on the top here which is the first option we're going to tap on that and it will bring out all of these scary options you don't need to really worry about any of that just tap on ok right here and now it has copied the file to the left right here so now this is the critical part we just copied the file name of the samsung sans before we deleted it what we want to do is long press on this tap on rename now what i like to do is i like to select all of the files like this and i just replace it with what i copied right here which is the samsung sans.ttf so now if i tap on ok you can see it is now technically a samsung sans.ttf even though it's not it's the file that we literally just copied here but now we have replaced it and now we are almost done in being able to assemble this file now so to exit we are now going to just come out of this so we're going to keep tapping the ellipses until we see the samsung sans on the left here so now all you have to do is just long press on this font file and we are going to tap on sign file so now what we're going to do is sign this apk and you have to make sure that shizuku is running that you've not exited shizuku because if you've done that or you've turned off wireless debugging it will fail to do this so that is why it's important we did shizuku at the beginning so now it has shown this apk here uh, sign the key we're just going to tap on ok here 
and this is not really important i thought it was when i first did this so i'm just going to tap on never show again and now you can see there's a green which is one thing i like about this app it has this green thing to show that this is a new apk now we have this one to show us that we've signed it and you can see it has sign uh, outside of it there so we are almost done now all we have to do is tap on the new uh, apk that we've just signed and tap on install now it will tell us that the signature is inconsistent with the uh, installed application and if we tap on install directly it will attempt to install it now for some people like right now you can see that it has failed because it actually has an inconsistent uh, signature with my a apk so basically what is happening is we downloaded a samsung sans from the galaxy store if you remember and now we are trying to install another galaxy uh, samsung sans so it's going to fail so just tap on close that's no worry all we have to do is go back into the galaxy store uh, where we had that samsung sans page and all we have to do is just uninstall it so that we don't have that conflict of it trying to overwrite this samsung sans but then seeing that wait the signatures are uh, wrong so i cannot give you that loan you're asking for sir so now let's just go back into empty manager right here and uh, that same samsung sans file so the one that is signed we're going to tap on it and we're going to tap on install and now it should install no problem with no uh, signs as you can see there successful installation so now we are done with uh, this uh, font file we tap on ok and we can just exit here now all we have to do is go back into the settings and now in the settings as you can see there is a samsung sans and unlike uh one ui8 when i first got it and i tried to use z font and it will fail whenever i try to apply a z font applied uh, uh, uh font here if i just tap on samsung sans boom we have samsung sans you can see that it has changed the font style and just to you know make sure there we go back to roboto go back to gothic uh, bold and we go to samsung sans and boom we have that there i like to have it in bold and as you can see for me this is my favorite font here this uh, sf which is the fonts that you find on the iphones and such and look at that we now have a custom font here on our device that is running one ui8 this is the fold 7 uh this is a phone that launched with one ui8 so there is no other uh, way or method that i found that this can work work right now so this is the way you can now do this now you're asking captain what if i want to install multiple fonts right and that is where that step that i showed you where we went to the uh, free font file on the galaxy store comes into play so basically for the free font file you basically have these other three fonts here that you can install so if you install the choco cookie here or the cool uh, jazz you can just go through that same process that we've gone through just now with empty manager and you know just extract the apk and now you're able to have at least at as a, at the time i'm working on this those four files as your four different base font files which is something that i'm so thrilled about i don't know about you but for me i just cannot use this phone or use phones without this custom fonts that i like and this is android for god's sake like this is why we do what we do this is why we use android phones because of the customizability and it's a shame that on samsung it's still been uh, locked down for some reason but i'm glad that we are able to bring it back here again a huge shout out to the redditor who put together this guide i'm literally just transmitting it into video but i am so so glad that we now have the ability to now change our fonts on one ui8 and this is a one that uh, what i like about this method is like unlike the previous method on z font where you had to you know go through the backups you had to go through this multi-step process you had to restore you had to do all of these things this one yes it does require a little bit of technical know-how to uh, get your empty manager and to go into your developer options but once you've done that the first time uh, that's pretty much it you are good to go all you just have to do is make sure again this is very important that you turn on wireless debugging so let's say you want to make another font and we're going through the settings here we go into developer options and in developer options let's say we turned off wireless debugging right because we turned off wireless debugging Bugging, shizuku is going to stop working and if you try to apply any of the fonts in empty manager for example let's say we try to install this it's not going to work 
like it's not going to work it's going to bring up the default system handler uh, package installer and if you try to install it with this it will fail because it doesn't have the required elevated permissions required so make sure that in this order you turn on developer options you uh, start shizuku and then you try to do whatever it is you want to do with empty manager and then you are good to go now what i dislike about this method is of course there are not as many options when it comes to the font here so we only literally have uh, those four fonts. If I go back into the Galaxy Store right here, we only have these four base fonts here. So, and once you've used one, you see you uh, only have three. If you've used two, you only have two. So it's not as much of a variety that you can have for as many fonts. So you cannot have like 10 custom fonts, for example. So you're really going to have to select the font that you really, really want to be able to use here. Now, I one of the other downsides of this is, for example, if I open an app like x for example or twitter um, it still doesn't change the default font in twitter for example and on the reddit thread i did see someone who was able to change it i have uh, replied to their comment asking them how they did this and when i have an idea how they did this i will put it as a pinned comment down below but that's one of the downsides of this is it doesn't actually change all the fonts in the system because some apps like x here use their own font or prioritize their own font but on threads for example which i really like you can see that it actually uses the font and I believe on Instagram as well if I go into Instagram which make sure you follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me on Instagram but here on Instagram it also it uses I think the font sometimes or sometimes it doesn't but that's one of the downsides of this is that it will not always use uh, the font but I think that's just more of an app setting as opposed to uh, this method which this method works and it's able to change all of your fonts on your device which I really really love and thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video i as much as possible as quickly as possible try to put this guide together because i made a video last year and in fact i make these videos for myself because i keep forgetting all of the process every time i get a new device or i have not changed my fonts in a while i just forget how to do it so i make this video for as much for you as it is for myself as well so yes i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it and if you've made it all the way here please do consider supporting me by becoming a member here on the channel either via youtube or patreon or buy me a coffee as that goes a long way in supporting all that i do here but other than that please text me when you get home so i know you got home safe and watch out for tap here they are bigger than they appear and i'll catch you in the next one don't forget to stay awesome bye And thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. Now this video, immediately yesterday when I researched it, I saw the link, I was like, I gotta make a video. Primarily because I'm going to forget and I need somewhere where I can watch it. And I'm so glad you made it all the way here. I I literally just like the point of this channel is literally just making videos for myself, like videos that I would enjoy watching. And these are the kind of videos I enjoy watching because these are the kind of videos that are, of stuff that are very specific to what I want to do so yeah i'm so glad you're here um please let me know what you're excited about for me i am getting a new tablet tomorrow so probably the galaxy tab s11 or s11 ultra i am not sure yet so that's exciting i'm excited to get that one i've also since you're here so you get behind the scenes stuff i also just got like the galaxy buds 3 fe and i really like the galaxy buds 3 so I've, like they fell out of my ears sometimes but um, the sound signature was like really good and I've also got like a case thing here from like this manufacturer um, for the Pixel 10 Pro so that is also exciting as well and I cannot wait to bring you all of those videos when they are ready so put hashtag when they are ready so I know you made it all the way to the end of the video but please don't forget okay share some of the things you're excited about so I can check them out and I can maybe get some excitement from there it can be shows it can be movies it can be your art it can be links to whatever please just let me know and I'll see you in the next one all right bye